Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. In today's unboxing video, we're going to be taking a look at the e-paper Papyrus hat and fat for the Raspberry Pi and Pi Zero. E-paper technology is designed to mimic ink on paper. It's perfect solution for places like supermarkets or grocery stores. It's designed to display the information for a short period of time when there's plenty of light available. So without further ado, let's take a look and see what's inside one of these boxes. So I'm just going to open the uh, security seal on there first. And get it open, it's a bit tough this one. There we go. Um, before I open this, I just want to mention about the different sizes of the screens. So there's a small one, which is 1.44 inch. There's a large one at 2.7, a medium at 2 inch. And there's also a multi-screen kit, which includes all three screens available. So let's take a look. There we go, finally comes out. So let's see what we got here. So we've got a welcome card by Pi Supply. This also has some information on the back and where you can purchase the board. Uh, we've got some cool stickers here. So we've got the Pi Supply stickers. We've also got the Papyrus logo sticker as well to add to your collection. So in here we've got some nylon stand mounts for mounting the hat board to the Razu Pi. Let's just open this. We've also got um, some four mini switches. So you can program these to change the image on the screen. So if you have four pre-selected images, you can press the switch and change each image. We've also got a little spring pogo pin. Uh, this is used for the built-in real-time clock. Let's take a look at the main board and the screens. Just move them to the side. So let's see what we've got in here. Oh, forgot about that one. So as we can see here, we've got the smaller screen, which is the 1.44 inch. We've got the 2 inch screen. And we've also got the 2.7 inch screen here. The screens are a bit delicate, so you must be a bit careful when handling them because they can break easily. Let's take a look at the main board. I'll just move them to the side. There we go. So here we have the main board. Um, the screen obviously slots onto this connector here and then is placed on top of the board here. I might actually just connect this one here, just to show you. So first of all, you need to just open the lever, and just pull it up and it should pop up like that. Take the screen you want with the ribbon connector and just slot it in. So once you've pushed it in, um, but don't push it in too hard, just close the lever like so and you should hear it click into place. Once it's in place, you can then flip the board over and then you can place the display on top of the hat. We also have some sticky pads here to keep the display stuck to the board. So let's see what we got on the board here on the other side. So as you can see, there's a coin cell battery. So this is the e-paper hat has a built-in real-time clock. So you'll be able to get the time and date information. You'll be able to display it on the e-paper display. We also have another connector here. So you can actually add an extension to this board if you want to. If you don't want to place the e-paper screen on top of the hat board on this side, uh, you'll be able to place it somewhere else with an extension cable. Also has a 42-way GPO header. Not all the pins are used, um, but if you go to pinout XYZ, you'll be able to find the pin out there and see which pins aren't used. Um, you may have noticed there are some uh, solder pads at the top here. 
labeled SW4321 and this is where the switches will go in. You'll have to place the switches in and then solder them on the reverse side, just here. Once they're soldered in place, you'll be able to use them to change the display on the e-paper hat. You can also see we've also made a little cutout for the Raspberry Pi camera as well. The e-paper hat has um, both full updates, so it does a complete refresh of the screen, but also does partial updates as well, so which is much quicker. Once the image has been written to the display, if you remove the power, the image will stay there until maybe a few days later where it will slowly degrade. Um, this is quite handy because you can actually just write the image to the display and then remove it and then swap it with another display. And you can keep doing this um, and then keep updating the images on the, on the screen. So if you want to find some more information about this, you can go to pysupply.com. If you go to pysupply.com forward slash megazone, we also have a tutorial guide on how to get started with the e-paper displays. If you want to purchase one, then go to the Pi Supply store. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, we'll see you then.